Hi guys, how are you doing? And welcome back. So we're going to talk about basic notifications from PFSense. I know in an ideal situation, you have a monitoring solution for your whole infrastructure. That's another video. I'm going to show you how I do that in another video. In this video, we're going to set up some basic notifications within PFSense itself because PFSense is running, it's your firewall, it's running your router, it's sitting on the edge of your network and Ideally, you have several services running from PFSense or you have PFSense connected to several VPN servers, VPN clients, you have multiple gateway setups in there, you have an automatic gateway selection setup in there. You want to be notified if something goes wrong with one of those components. And I'm not going to say that PFSense notifications can tell you everything what is that is the matter with a firewall, but it will give you some basic notifications and for some basic functionality, which can trigger you that something is wrong and you need to pay a little attention to PFSense. Let's get into it. So you will find the notification option. If you click on system, go to advanced, and now you will have the tab notifications. Click on that tab and you will see that Within PFSense, there are some basic settings you can configure to have some kind of notification if something goes wrong, right? That doesn't mean that this will replace a full-blown monitoring setup you have for your infrastructure. It won't. And um, in a, another video, I will show you how, how I have set up monitoring for my whole infrastructure. But this will give you some basic notification options without having to log into the GUI and see if there is something wrong or get notified that there is something wrong and maybe you need to pay some attention to your firewall. So there are several sections in here. You can use email, you can use sound, of course, if you're using PFSense on a hardware, um, on a hardware device, on an appliance, as an appliance, basically, or you have, have one of the NetGate appliances, you can set up that uh, option to have a sound play or a beep from that hardware appliance. Of course, Telegram is here as well. Pushover. Pushover is a notification service. That means it will send a notification to the pushover infrastructure and now pushover will send it to my device. In this case, I am using my iPhone with a pushover app. And if something goes wrong, it notifies me there as well. And of course, another popular one is Slack because a lot of companies, enterprise companies, actually are using Slack as a communications platform. Now you can have PFSense enter your Slack channel, for example, and post notifications to your sysadmins if something goes wrong. So as you can see here, there, there are some basic options to have a notification without having to log in onto PFSense and to know that there is something wrong with, um, with some component on PFSense. So let's go over the options I am using. I have set up the first option. That's the certificate expiration option. It will enable me if a certificate is about to expire, right? You can see here when a certificate is soon to expire, it will send me a notification. So I'm using this option because of course, if you install PFSense, uh, do a default setup, PFSense will have some self-signed certificates in there. Maybe you have some OpenVPN servers configured there with OpenVPN clients, and those are self-signed certificates as well. Or you are using Let's Encrypt certificate because you're using HAProxy. And in my case, I am using HAProxy on PFSense. And then HAProxy, of course, requires certificates. Um, I'm using Let's Encrypt certificates, which expire every 90 days. That means that if a certificate is about to expire, I get a notification on my uh, on my device in my email. And basically, of course, the ECMI client, which is another service here in PFSense, the ECMI certificates, it will renew the Let's Encrypt certificates automatically. But if they are about to expire, I will get a notification that there are certificates about to expire. And then that's something I can keep in mind that making sure that the certificates are actually being renewed automatically, right? Or maybe I have to upload a certificate and renew it myself. So that's very good to know, that certificate expiration warning. And then I'm using the mail setup. I have connected PFSense for notifications to my, um, to my email account. If you are hosting a, a self-hosted mail, if you have a self-hosted mail server, you can configure it in here. I'm using um, 
the mail platform which is uh, responsible for handling my emails. So that's something you can do. You have to make sure that check that the SMTP, the mail server configuration has been entered correctly. Of course, username, password, and all the authentication settings. Now there is a trick here if you are configuring email notifications, because if you come in here for the first time, you're going to set up the email notification. What you will do is you will enter all the information and then you will click on test SMTP settings because that's the, the last step and you want to verify that your email notification setup is actually working and it will fail. Why will it fail? Because after you've entered all the information for your email server, for your mail account in here, you have to first save that option. So enter everything in here, scroll to the bottom and then click on save. After PFSense has saved that information, then go back to the email section and then click on test SMTP settings. And now it will be able to verify the actual SMTP settings and send you a email. This is a very important step to keep in mind if you're setting this up for the first time. Now, another option I'm also using is pushover, like I said. I have the pushover app installed on uh, several devices and I have enabled PFSense to use pushover as a notification platform. So in that way, what happens is if pushover, if one of my devices is not with me, I'm not traveling always with my iPad, for example, if there is something the matter, it will send a notification to my iPhone, my iPad and my Mac OS uh, computer. So I will have a notification beside the email that something is the matter. So another interesting thing, another major thing I'm using notifications for is what I've done. If we go back, click on system, then click on routing. Now I have configured gateway groups in PFSense. This is something you will use as well. If you have several VPN connections you want to utilize to actually send traffic through that, you have maybe multiple WAN connections and you want to define what is your primary WAN connection, what is your secondary WAN connection. If something is the matter with one of those connections, one of those VPN connections or one of those WAN connections, the DPinger gateway detection in PFSense will actually detect that one of your connections is down and it will send you a email and of course a notification, in my case on pushover, that one of my gateways is down. So maybe I need to do something, maybe I need to worry and get in there and see what's actually the matter. But also if the gateway comes back up, right, then you will get a notification there as well that the gateway is up and it has been reactivated in that gateway group. So this is something I use very, I depend on very heavily because I am using several VPN providers to actually send my traffic. And if one of the VPN providers is down, I want to know maybe I need to do something. So this is one of the example emails that will be sent by PFSense if something is the matter. In this case, one of my gateway groups is having problems. One of the connections defined in there is down. Now PFSense will send you a message. Hey, one of your gateways is down. But also if the gateway comes back up, it will send you a message as well. Hey, the gateway is up and I'm re-adding it to that gateway group and routing traffic again uh, as you have defined it in that gateway group. So these kinds of mail messages are very um, handy to have. And of course, the notification will send it to um, your Telegram channel, your Slack channel or your device itself. So it is not replacing a full blown monitoring setup, but it is a first line of monitoring messages. You can get monitoring notifications. You can get if something is the matter with your PFSense firewall. And this is how you set up basic notification settings within PFSense. It will give you a notification for basic things happening on the firewall. It is not a replacement for a full-blown monitoring setup for your infrastructure and then monitoring several aspects from PFSense. I mean, you can have SNMP configured within PFSense, for example, sending all the information to your monitoring platform, and then you can have those kinds of notifications as well. But that means that PFSense now is depending on a monitoring solution to send you notifications and some basic notifications. You don't need to have a different platform for handling that. Just configure it within PFSense. 
use the different options in there. You, as you saw, there are several options in there. You can have mail, you can have push notifications, Slack channel, Telegram. Use one of those configurations or multiple of them um, together to have a basic idea of what is going on within your PFSense firewall. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below this video. That helps out my channel a lot. And for now, take care. See you in the next video. Bye.